stent is uh, an expandable metal mesh tube uh, which is used to keep open uh, a narrowed artery so for example in patients who have uh, narrowings or blockages in their heart arteries either acutely or chronically we can uh, implant these stents which we can then expand and then keep the artery open which usually uh, improves symptoms So the stent, uh, if used to open up a blocked artery, keeps that artery open. And by doing that, you increase the blood supply to the heart muscle, uh, thereby providing relief and enough oxygen for the heart muscle tissue uh, to pump blood effectively around the body. Uh, and again, in acute situations, this uh, can save someone's life, but more commonly, I guess, in the chronic situation, it can relieve symptoms such as that of chest pain. So the procedure uh, usually involves uh, the patient either coming in acutely or, or as an elective patient where the patient is told not to eat or drink for four to six hours prior to the procedure. Uh, the patient uh, comes into the cardiac catheter uh, laboratory, uh, they lie flat, they're given a mild sedative usually, and most of the procedures are now performed via the artery in the wrist. Uh, historically, the majority were done via the artery in the groin, but now uh, there's less uh, complications if we undertake the procedure through the wrist. We put a tube into the wrist artery, and through that tube, we pass long, thin catheters which curve up towards the heart, and then we can inject contrast into the heart arteries, which we can visualize uh, on our X-ray to see where the narrowings are and where the blockages uh, could be. That's the premise of an angiogram, and if we find a narrowing that we want to treat with a stent, we use these same catheters which are visualizing the blockage, and then we advance a wire through the narrowing, uh, expand the narrowing with initially with a balloon, uh, and after we've done that, then we can deploy a stent, uh, which will then keep the artery hopefully permanently open. The procedure usually takes between 30 minutes uh, for a relatively simple uh, angioplasty to two hours if it's more complicated. So with it, like any medical procedure, uh, particularly treatments, there are always, the benefits usually outweigh the risks, but there are risks associated with this. And we usually quote a risk of about one in a hundred of more serious complications, such as heart attack uh, or stroke. Uh, more common risks uh, include uh, bleeding um, from the procedure uh, as we're putting in tubes into uh, heart arteries, oh, sorry, into, into peripheral arteries to get access uh, to be able to take the pictures and institute treatment, um, but these are usually less serious if they do occur. Usually, depending on the type of procedure and the complexity of the, the stenting, uh, the patient may be able to go home that same day. Um, usually we recommend that they uh, avoid driving for usually a week if they've come in as an elective procedure. If they've come in as a as a heart attack, for example, then we'd usually recommend that they uh, refrain from working from three to four weeks. In terms of lifestyle, we, we strongly advocate taking the medications that to be prescribed following a stent, particularly the blood thinners, which help keep the stent open. We also recommend modifications in terms of diet uh, to promote a healthy lifestyle, such that further down the line, we don't develop narrowings in other arteries uh, or issues with the stent. Um, and then we also recommend meticulous diabetic control uh, and uh, keeping optimal control of things modifiable risk factors such as blood pressure and cholesterol. 